Back up, back up, back up. Savannah. That flag and the troops are the reason yeah. you're able to out here. You're a fucking like bitch. A bitch. You're Wait, a fucking the last time ass, you fought for privileged freedom. ass bitch. Get the fuck out of here now. You're a Coke bro shell. Fuck the troops. You I'm here at the Aurora ICE facility where protesters decided to take down the American flag and put a Mexican flag in its place. I'm appalled that politicians like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez have promoted this behavior and disrespected our country, our flag, and our law enforcement. I'm here to show support for our law enforcement and our country and everything that our flag stands for. God bless America and God bless our law enforcement. White supremacists! White supremacists, white supremacists, or what? We also have the right, no matter which side we're on. Or what? We also have the right to that I'm going to get out of your face, or what? I have a question for you now. Hmm? You are more concerned with a fucking piece of cloth than people who are locked in cages. Children, right in front of you. You know that Speak. flag and those troops? I don't get the flag! I don't get oh. the flag! Back up, back up, back up, back up. Savannah. That flag and the troops are the reason yeah. you're able to out here You're a fucking like bitch! A you're Wait, a fucking stupid ass, privileged ass, privilege ass bitch! Get the fuck out of here I'm now! Optics. I will fucking... Nothing matters. Optics. You don't know me. Don't you don't know where I'm from. If you don't know what I'm saying. This, if she can stand here and defend this, optics will never matter. If you can actually video. stand here and say that you All I, I support the troops, and I don't, I'm, okay, Fox, you guys Fox, can Fox, protest. Until we can have Fox, oil from Fox, other countries, Fox, you support the troops yeah, so right. that we can have oil and kill innocent people for oil. That's cool. I don't know. You're a cobra shell. Fuck the troops. You support the troops but, so like, that we can we kill doing? people like, for oil? Go ahead and, and fucking distribute right this shit. Like Go ahead and distribute it. Go ahead and distribute it. Go no, ahead. Like, what are they specifically <laughs> Go doing? ahead and distribute what, it. What is oh, oh, yeah. No, fuck the troops, bitch. Go ahead and fucking distribute it, bitch. What's up, ho? Fuck you. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, I hope this shit goes viral. Fuck the troops, because all they do... It's fucking kill people. To license it. Random radio. We are back. This week we oh wait 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 make sure you guys hit the bell so that you always know when we have new content. Make sure that you guys subscribe to us. Hit us up at Facebook. Hit us up at YouTube. Hit us up at SoundCloud. Look for us everywhere so that you can always know when we got new content. All right, this is official. I am fourteen and nine. I don't know, I don't know where the hell you you where y'all been. I'm fourteen and nine. So we got Steve Wilkos this week. Uh, the name of this episode is titled, You Better Hope. Hey, this is what's titled, You Better Hope That You, You Better Hope You Pass This Test. Apparently somebody is not playing in this episode. They're not playing. We're going to find out what's going on. Let's go. Like You're I said, lying, Steve. though. You sit here Do lying. Do you see a future with you yeah. two together with this kind of accusation between no. the two? No. With, the, with this going I on, no, care. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Because, like why I said... St- why do you stay? I stay, one, because I like her. You know, she's cool. I am curious to know, how did former NBA player Tyrone Hill... Covered by Hardaway. Hardaway. Like it that. Rebounded by Hill. Oh! Hill gets inside. Yes, and it counts. Tyrone Hill of the Cleveland Cavaliers with the basket, and he'll go to the line. Hill is a guy that said it didn't matter to him whether he got chosen to the all-star team. It's a great honor, but showing you why he is a, such a valuable commodity to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Always in and around and close to the glass and, and cleans up. All these guys that are hurt, they always say the same thing. I could have used the time off, but you can't pry them away from the weekend once you get them here. He did not want to be put on the ballot. And actually, he felt... Did you not save any of your money, Tyrone Hill? Did you not save your money... Tyrone Hill, did you blow your money? Jesus Christ, you fucking NBA players, I tell you. We kind of grew a bond and relationship together, and everything was nice and happy before this happened. And like I say, we was together about four months, 
till this ended up happening. So within that four month time, we didn't build up a we built up a relationship with each other. And then in the process of me building up a relationship with her, I was trying to build a relationship with the kids. Cause if I'm be with her, I gotta deal with the kids. But well, you won't I don't really trying to build a relationship with them. You was just coming in acting like daddy. That's exactly what you were doing. Like Well, in all honesty, that's probably what they needed. If, they, if if he was coming into the situation and there were already kids there, they probably needed a daddy. It looks like we have another hair-headed hooligan out here on the loose. Out here on the loose. Talking about what a man should have been doing. See? Tupac said it best. Tupac said it best. You need to break her ass and shake her ass. Get it together. He should have first got this. He should have first got this woman in order. Then he could have got control of those kids. That's where he went wrong. You wasn't trying to get to know them or anything like that. You're just, don't do this and don't do that and this and that and just being so mean. Like, and I told you, you got to slack back on all that. They Bro. don't like that. They're not used to that, period. You hear this? You hear this? It's not a, he's trying to install discipline into these children's lives. She's telling him about how the discipline he's instilling, they don't like that. Uh-uh, they don't like that. They ain't with that. So the kids run the house. The kids run the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you touch the girl in, in an no, inappropriate way? Nope. Whoa. 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 Whoa, that is serious. Did you touch the girl in an inappropriate way? Did Tyrone Hill touch a child? Let's find out. Did you touch her at all on Alabama? Nope. Okay. All right. You better hope not. That's all I said. You better hope you pass this test. I hope for your sake. I am. Oh, snap. We're getting right to it. We are getting right to the results. We're not even playing games here. Oh, man. Steve is pulling it out on me real quick. I didn't even know he was going to whip it out on me like this. All right, Steve. I'm ready. Let's do it. Well... The one, like I was saying her, the option is if you were to fail this, she's been holding off on CYS and the police. Um, and I assume if you fail that, she would notify them. Yep. Oh, this is serious, y'all. <laughs> this is serious. Uh, and when you came here and you took a lie detector test, and it comes down to, we asked you, did you ever sexually touch Chevelle's daughter? You answered no. Did you ever touch, sexually touch Chevelle's daughter is the first question for Tyrone Hill. The Golden State Warriors select Tyrone Hill from Xavier. I say I don't know I don't know we don't even have much to go off of we're just going off of looks you know what I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you know what yeah Tyrone Hill did it that NBA career didn't go well he touched that he touched that little girl for 15 and 9 you answered no. He answered no. I got y'all answers locked in? All right. And the result of your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. There it is. 15 and 9. Look at him. Look at him. He looks like a little... You can't even see his eyes. Beady eyes. He's kind of fishish. He's got a kind of a fishy kind of look to him. Nah, I'm 15 and 9. Oh, the ass whooping was a coming. The ass whooping was a coming. I didn't know. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. That's not right. Let me go. 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 Please let me go. That's not right. 
Christ, dude. No. Let me go! 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 Please! That's false. That's so right. You already know. You already know. You already know. Yeah. Like like a 112 song. You already know. You already know. That's false. That ain't, that's not true I at all. I can't believe this. That's not true at all. There's two big red flags here. One, mother picks up on it before anything's even said to her. And two, this girl's very descriptive about what you did to her. So you have a major problem on your hand, and this lie detector test is the least of your concerns. Well, like I said, because when she goes home, which I gotta imagine her state right now, I mean, what you said earlier about keeping yourself in check so you can go through the process and making sure you get justice for your daughter—that's the mindset you need to be in. As much. <laughs> And I can't imagine the anger that you feel right now and what you want to do. I could totally understand it. Almost every parent could. But you need to handle this the right way. You're here, and you wanted to find out for your daughter. But you didn't do this. I didn't do that. But you didn't do this. I didn't. But you didn't do Man. this. And the lie detector says, says, you failed. Like I said, I didn't do it. Shut the fuck up! You ain't do it. And that's I what take you always been saying. So what the lie detector test is lying now? That's what it is. And I don't know. Well, Everybody's lying but, on but you. Like I said, except I you. You the only one telling the truth, right? Okay. We gave it to you three times. You failed three times. Wow. Wow. You took it three times and failed three times. I mean, Tyrone Hill, man. <laughs> Extension by Tyron Hill, looking to pile up the board. Hill now is unbelievable. Tyrone Hill was drafted 11th overall in 1990 by the Warriors out of Xavier. I guess you, I guess where when you go back home, you're gonna be hearing this. How's that ass feeling? Yeah. I mean, maybe you'll find companionship at some jail, and maybe you'll get to say, oh. Well, Fleece Johnson is out. He's out. So you, you won't get to meet this guy who 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 feels this way. I like Boomy. He's out. He's out. Maybe he'll go back. And then you guys can be together. And so now is there's no more lie detector tests. Now there's a police investigation, and in your case, uh, probably a trial. And and listen. You knew you had to know somewhere in the pit of your stomach yeah. the truth before you ever got here. Um, so what you need to go home is contact the police. And he says he didn't do it, so uh, I'm sure he doesn't have a problem with turning himself into the police sure. and cooperating with them because he says he didn't do it. Right, right. So, you don't have a problem um, with turning yourself into the police. No, I told you, I, when you, when you accused me of the so excuse so the language, Steve. When, he, when I got accused of it, I said I could call the police. The police could have came. She could have called the police that day. She could have called the police well, any time that happened or I, any other time. How did you fail the lie detector test? I know I didn't do nothing. Period. It said you know. did. Well, hey. Calling the police like ain't solving. It's not getting to the bottom of the truth of it. It is. The truth the came police, out on the test, the but doctors, we did. There's ways you can find out if anything we happened. We just found out. The lie detector test. The lie detector test. It was giving you three times and you failed. Like you said, know what it is, though. Whatever. You know what it is. Well, you know what it is. I don't listen, even want to see his listen, face. Listen. Like, why is he still up okay. here? Like, why well, are you even talking? You're nobody. You're nothing but a child molester and a pedophile. That's what you are, you pervert. That's what you are. I, 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 I don't really have anything else to say about this one. But you know what? Because I didn't do one last week, I'm going to give you guys a special treat. Let's do another one. Let's do another Steve Wilkos right now. So here we are, face to face. A couple of silver spoons. Here we are, face to face. A couple of silver spoons. Uh, yeah. And this is another one. You won't believe these results. Steve Wilkos 
This is part two. I am 15 and nine. You should be two. Let's do it. I'm here to get my family back. I'm being accused of sleeping with a transsexual. I met Marvin on this transsexual website, so evidently he was looking for a transsexual to begin with. Well, let me tell you something. It, the, the, the tranny might be a fucking genius. Because that makes sense. That's some logical sense there. Why would you be on a transsexual website if you're not looking for transsexuals? Simple and plain. Once you found out that it was trans, that it was a transsexual website, why didn't you? Why did you stay? I can understand. Maybe you got on the website. You said, "Okay, it looked like it might be some women on here." And then you, and then you know, once you realized it was transsexuals on there, why didn't you leave, Marvin? That transsexual's got a good point. I met him in person around the neighborhood. The whole thing started when I moved down with my goddaughter and her old lady. I was living with them because me and my wife had been going through some problems. And I was giving them every little bit of money that I was getting to help them out. And when I decided that it wasn't working out, Lacey made up this because I wouldn't pay them the rent money. I feel betrayed because I never thought my goddaughter would do something like that. Man, that whole story sound pure beta trash. You ain't even a man, bruh. You can't even stand on your own two feet, bruh. You had to go live with this woman and then this woman who thinks they're a man. This fake Craig Mack looking nigga here. Me and Marvin hooked up twice. Yes, he liked it, and he said he wanted to, to do it again. I wouldn't think my husband would do nothing like that. I, I don't think my husband gay. Yeah. You guys were having problems, and he moved out for a while. Yes, we've been separated for like three months, and we was planning on getting back together. But that day I was going to come down there to stay with him was the day that Lacey, my goddaughter's girlfriend, put on Facebook that he was messing with a transsexual. Could your goddaughter have made this up? Um, yes. I, I think they could have made this up because I think they just mad about the money that he moved out. What? What? I think they just mad about the money when they moved out. Man, Rainy, you sound real slow. <laughs> You sound real slow. I don't know what you're talking about, Rainy. I'm confused. Because when he did finally start working down there, found a job, they just kept, you know, taking all his money. I don't care about Marvin's money. I have my own place. I have my own job. I didn't need his money. It's Man, look at this big motherfucker. Dude, come on. Come on. Talk about some people appropriating culture and not knowing who they really are. Wow. This chick looks like a whole man. This is ridiculous. I just was telling you what was told to me. You know, That's I wasn't trying to hurt too, you. I wasn't trying to do anything. How do you know that he slept with the transsexual? Because <laughs> the tranny told me. Said, I, just, I just passed on the message. How did you Man, Tranny's lie all the time. Tranny's always saying that somebody slept with him, and it usually be niggas who didn't sleep with him. Oh, yeah, he slept with me. That's because they be mad. Don't nobody want to be with him. You even know this transsexual. I saw him, and we was talking, and... Steve, now you know. They is birds. You know, that whole LGBTQ, HIV, AIDS, they all hang out with each other. The, the, the lesbians hanging out with the gays. The gays hanging out with the bi's. The bi's hanging out with the trans. And the trans hanging out with the AIDS. It's all happening, brother. Don't, don't you act like you don't know how they hanging out. He was just like, you know, hey, you know, um, he was like, when you moved here, he was just asking me questions like that. And I was just like, you know, just not too long ago. And I was like, um, I told him, uh, I told him about the story about what Marvin did to me about when, you know, he was like, oh, I know him, you know, and I was like, really, how you know him? <laughs> and he was just like, well, he, then he explained like what happened. And I was just like, so basically, I got and you to, believed it. I'm not saying I believe it. You know, he do look a little fruity, but I, I, you know, you do believe it. If you didn't believe it, then why would you go and tell Rainey? 
If you didn't believe it, fake Craig Mack, why would you go and tell Rainy, bruh? Why would you go and tell Rainy, sir? If since that's what you want to be, sir, why didn't you? Why would you go and tell Rainy if you didn't believe it? You lying ass bitch. I mean, if you're making this up, what a horrible thing to do, right? Right. There's right. nothing I would make up because I don't even care about their relationship that much to make it up. I just passed on the message. Why are you passing on messages if you don't care about the relationship? You see, none of this makes sense. I don't care about their relationship, but let me be the messenger. And but why would you even do that? Because if he gay, he gay, and I'm gonna tell his wife. What the fuck? Why aren't you? Do is that? Do I smell some hypocrisy? Wait a minute. What about gay? Do you need to tell her for? Wait a minute. You don't care about their relationship. But then you want to tell her that he's gay. Why? What, is there something wrong with being gay, fake Craig Mac? Here comes the brand new flavor in your ear. Time for new flavor in your ear. Aren't you a gay woman? You motherfucker. Did you sleep with the transsexual? No, Steve, I never sex slept. Slept. Slept with a transsexual. I love my wife. Man, why he? <laughs> why was he all? Uh, man, I never slip, slip, slip. I never slip and slide with the transsexual. Uh. <laughs> I love my kids. I miss my kids. I got a two, a six months old child, and I can't really see because of this mess right here. Why do you think they're saying this about you? Because they got mad because I wouldn't pay their bills. It's not my obligation to pay their bills. Uh, I never slept with a transsexual. Have you ever met this transsexual? Never seen him. You never seen him. Never seen him. Did you go on a website? And never seen him. Don't know nothing about him. Why don't you tell me what happened? Okay, I met him online. I told him I was a transsexual, and he knew. I mean, well, how could you not know? How could you not know that Jeffrey Daniels stopped doing this? When you know Start doing this. How could you not know? And we had sex, and that was that. Mm -hmm. With that man right there. Well, yeah. If you're lying about this story, you are breaking up a marriage and a family with children. Some I don't even care about. But I'm asking you. I don't understand. See, see, this, this is why this is a weird one. What the hell? What is the? What is everyone's attitude if I don't care? But they all want to tell about what happened if none of you people care why does everyone need to tell the tale of what happened everybody has to tell what happened have you guys noticed this? i don't care but everybody who don't care want to tell what happened to the wife she must know about a bunch of stuff that they don't care about. What am I missing? And why does it always seem like in these situations, the gays, the trans, the LGBT, HI95, bird flu, whatever the fuck. What the fuck? Why do all of you people feel it necessary to expose someone else who is gay? Why do you all, it's, it's like you all take pride in telling other straight people, ha ha, this person is gay. Why is that necessary? I thought coming out was a special event. Why can't this man go through his journey and come out? Why must you out him? Why must you and fake Craig Mack out him? This is ridiculous. If you were lying about it, that would be terrible. It would be. Marvin came here today to save his marriage. We asked you, have you ever had sexual contact with London? You said no. All right. We are, we are getting to it. Here we are. We, here we are. The moment of truth. Ah. <sighs> 
Did Marvin have sexual contact with the transsexual London? Jeffrey Daniels, who used to do this. No longer doing that. Now doing this. And we had sex and that was that. Did Marvin have relations with her? Yes or no? I am 15 to 9. <sighs> Did Marvin do it? Did Marvin do it? Are they lying on him? See, I, so I'm sitting here thinking most shocking results, right? So this is like a compilation of shocking results. What, the, what would be more shocking now? That Marvin is with the transsexual or that everybody is lying? Now I'm thinking Marvin being with the transsexual would be shocking. But everyone lying on Marvin would also be like, what the hell? Why? Right? However... I will not go against my better judgment. Today I am anti all you men today. I'm sorry, I must be anti you. Marvin, you were screwing a transsexual. It's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word like Levert. You did it. I'm saying you did it. Lock in you guys' votes. 16 and 9, here I come. Did you have sexual contact with London more than one time? Did he have sexual contact with London more than one time? Uh, oh, did he come back for seconds? Yes, he did. I believe that Marvin did come back for seconds. 17 to 9. You said no. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man. Okay. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. If Marvin is screwing trannies and coming back for seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths, yes, he has screwed around with men. He was He's in jail. He was in jail, right? Didn't, wasn't they talking to him in jail? He was screwing around with men in there. 18 and 9. You said no. Are you gay? <laughs> he said no. Wait a minute. So we got four questions here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you gay, Marvin? He said no. We got four questions here. Wow. Are you gay? Yes, obviously. Man, I'm going yes across the board. Marvin failed all these questions. 19 and 9. Give it to me, Steve, bro. We gave him this test three times. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. And each time the results came back the same to every question. And they came back that he told the truth yeah. oh! <laughs> oh look at this can you believe it can you believe it oh oh I went against him I went against him I went with the tranny y'all Fuck. We asked London, did you have any type of sexual contact with Marvin? London said yes. Did you have sexual contact with Marvin more than once? And London said yes, he did. Are you fabricating a story that you and Marvin had sex? And he said, no, we're not, he's not fabricating it. And the results for his lie detector test came back all the same. Results all the same to every question. 
and it came back that London did not tell the truth. No, we didn't. Oh, all right. Now, there's another part to this. Another part. I mean, in all, in all honesty, we really didn't need to hear London's part. Once we heard that they never did anything, I mean, that was it. You know, you, you just, you, you completely screwed me, London. I, I just, I, I believed in the tranny. I believed in the fucking tranny. I thought the tranny would not be lying. Look at what happens when you show equal rights. Now I'm 15 and 13, damn it. I mean, yeah, you too. We yeah. also asked London, did Lacey ask you to fabricate a story? What? Okay, wait a minute. Now we've got another one. Maybe there's a little bit of redemption. Redemption. Yes. So, did Lacey ask London to fabricate the story? Did Craig Mack? Here comes the brand new flavor in your head. Time for new flavor in your ear. Ask the transsexual, lion ass transsexual to fabricate this entire story. Did she do it? Let's find out. Right now. Wait a minute. I'm gonna say yes. Lacey told London to do it. Wait, wait, well. Yeah, well. Ah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, Lacey told London to do it. Yeah. That Marvin had sex with you. What? And she said no. She said no, Lacey didn't tell me to do that. She told the truth. You didn't ask her. Thank you. Now okay. can I go? Okay, hold on. But don't you want to hear well, about I'm your- sorry, man. Wait a minute, what? So Lacey didn't tell London to do it. So I, I lost that one too. Fifteen, fourteen. What? What the hell is going on? Hey, yo, Don't you hear about your partner? Don't you hear about your partner? Go ahead, go ahead. Did go ahead. Crystal ask you to fabricate a story that Marvin had sex with you? She said no. Did Crystal ask London to fabricate the story? So Crystal must be the other chick who has said nothing this entire time. I don't know what to say because I have been wrong. My my record for the episode is like one, what, like one, one five or something. I'm afraid to say. I know how tricky these damn transsexuals are. They will lie on me. They will lie on you. They'll just lie on you. Uh, I'm going to say uh, yes. Crystal did tell the, the transsexual to fabricate the story. Yes! She did not tell the truth. Oh, my God. Well, why would you want to destroy their marriage? All right, thank you. God damn it! Shit! 16 and 14. All right, Steve, you can say what you want. I'm not saying what I want. Day, I'm saying the truth. Okay, so at the end of the day, I'm not about to sit here and talk about this when you're just going to kick me off the stage anyway. So you might as well just let me walk I'm giving you your chance. I'm giving you your chance. I don't want to explain. Don't want to you don't want to explain. My house, I'm not going to explain why I made up the story. Oh, well. You did make up the story. Wow. Exactly. Wow. What a little see you next Tuesday. Jesus Christ. I, he ain't going to gotta explain why he ain't in my house, and I ain't got to explain why I made up the story. Well, that's all we need to know. Get your ass out of my wow. studio, too. Are you guys getting back together? Yes, we're going to work it out. We should <laughs> Well, congratulations to Marvin. I totally botched that one. Jesus Christ. I'm 16 and 14. I got all of those wrong. <laughs> I got all of them wrong. So you either got a huge boost or you got a big decline like me. I don't know what the hell happened here. Uh, leave some messages in the comment section. I don't, what, what, what am I for the episode? I started out, what, 14 and 9? I went 15 and 9. And I went 16 and 9. Then I, well, well, no, I didn't go 16 and 9. I went 15 and 9. Then I went 15 and 14. So now I'm 2 and like, 2 and 5. Jesus Christ. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Random radio. Yeah, you are listening to Random